In case you are not doing well in life, we try to track down the reasons for your being a failure. Then once that is done, we want you to have your desires fulfilled. It is possible to fulfill most human desires. So we have to change the program. This whole work, as you know, depends on, on understanding the program. Your past is the program. And the past starts with your past lives. And then the, the thoughts your parents had before they conceived you, the actual moment of conception, and what happens in the womb, which we call the four baskets, and the actual delivery. And the first six hours are very, very uh, crucial. So that's why we actually uh, write programs for uh, pregnant people. And we give them the program. And mother must uh, utter the program in the left ear of the child within six hours. Then that becomes the program for life. And then the first six years, and then the first 12 years, up to age 12, the program is sort of closed. That becomes the script for your life. That would dictate your life situation. Whether they're going to have cancer or a kidney problem, whether they're going to make money or not, whether they're going to have a divorce or not, what kind of relationship you're going to have. All these things are based on the script, which is from past lives to age 12. You start living out that script. Then thereafter what happens after 12 is, it's sort of uh, the same thing is there, the fear is there. You could be fearing a ghost. Now you could start fearing the share market. It would change that way. So we call it conditioning after 12, which can change the way in which the script is expressing itself. The same actor acting in different movies. So the same script, but it would express itself differently depending on your conditioning. That happens after 12. So now, changing things which have uh, happened to you after 12 is very, very easy. But you have to get deeper and deeper and deeper and locate the problem, where the problem is. So once you uh, locate the problem, it's very easy to come out of the problem. So that's what we keep doing uh, at various levels, level one, level two. And the final things, of course, we do in Mukti Diksha, which is uh, for what we call enlightenment or awakening. At the end of it, you will be in an altered state of consciousness. You will functional, you will function from this higher state of consciousness. You will be able to do all your normal work, but you will be in a different state of uh, consciousness. So that is what. Uh, we intend to do ultimately to you.